I, you don't need to adjust your screen. I may have ran over a Smurf on the way here. Up the Smurf and Creek without a paddle. Let's look at another Pixar movie. Today's fate will have us traveling to the 10th century hills of Scotland to find all the Easter eggs and secrets that Marita hid in the movie Brave. <laughs> Merida was the very first Pixar character to be made a Disney princess. Before we even open the case to your Blu-ray or DVD, look at the cover. If you have the Ultimate Collector's Edition, you will see Mordu, the bear hiding in the background. However, if you have the standard DVD, you're not going to see it. One thing you could see though is in the posters of the theaters advertising for Brave, we see what appears to be her ma, Queen Eleanor. Also in the logo for Brave, we see Merida in the B, and Queen Eleanor is in the E. The Pizza Planet track has been around since the beginning of Pixar's life in Toy Story. In Brave, we can see the witch carved it out of wood. Wood carver. This makes a lot of people question, who in the world is the witch? And how does she know about Pizza Planet? Now a lot of people think that she's Boo, all grown up from Monsters, Inc. And this is because she's stuck in a time traveling spell to try to find Sully. However, I think it's just a clever way to put the pizza plant truck into a 10th century time era. What I think we get to see though that adds to the conspiracy is that inside the witch's cabin we actually see a carved wooden version of Sully. The real reason that we see Sully though is because Monsters University was the very next movie after Brave and they like to hide easter eggs to their next movie in their current movie, remember? But some people think that this helps explain the witch's fascination with bears because they look a lot like Sully. Okay fine, so they put Sully in the movie just because they needed a reference to the next movie which was Monsters University, so that explains why Sully's there. But then why is Sully on the table again? Or then he's hanging up on the wall again! Sully is literally all over the place in this little witch's cabin. Okay, some people are still questioning whether or not this is still an older version of Boo. Well, perhaps you notice something else. Boo is fascinated with the door. And every time she goes through this door, the room magically changes. So today's survey question is this. Do you think Boo from Monsters, Inc. is also the witch from Brave? I don't know. Now Cars 2 was the last movie to come out before Brave, that's why in the pub we see a Cars version of the tapestry in Cars 2. If you watched my Cars 2 video, you already know about this one. If you don't, I won't judge you if you go back and watch it now. <laughs> Another first in Brave was this is the first time Pixar ever had nudity in one of their movies. Right! Even with this moment though, Brave is still rated PG. Fun little fact, traditionally they don't wear anything under their kilts. So when Lord Dingwat here lifts his kilt, he's showing everything, and that's why this scene is really gross. Well, that's just grand now, isn't it? You don't believe me? Huh. Well, watch this. Feast your eyes! John Ratzenberger has been Pixar's good luck charm since day one. He's always been a voice of one of the characters. In Brave, John is Gordon the guard. Hi there, coming! They want to announce the arrival of the large... In case you're not as artsy as me, Michelangelo has a famous panning that seems to find its way into a lot of movies, like a lot a lot. The witch here made a bear version wood carving of the painting, with God touching his finger to man. Some people think that this movie has a little bit too much nudity and violence. The fight scenes though were actually originally much more intense than what we saw. But they pulled back the fights just a little bit to make it a little less violent. In fact, there are over a hundred deleted scenes for the movie. But if you watch the violent scenes really closely, they put a lot of comedy in there to make it less violent. This horn sounds a little bit familiar. Kind of like the horn used in Bugs Life to warn the ants of when Hopper was arriving. <gasps> They're here. <gasps> this isn't the first time we've seen someone's teeth knocked out in a fight. Does this scene look familiar? Remember in Mulan when we see a guy get his teeth knocked out? Oh, sorry, Lane. If you pay close attention to Queen Eleanor when she's in bear form, she doesn't just randomly turn into an evil bear at any random time. She only turns bear-like when it involves food. Every single time she turned into bear form, it was because of food. Mom? Not no. No, please not no. Then she turns back into mama mode when she's almost ready to hurt somebody because that's the furthest thing from her personality. Scotland also has a real place like this called the Kalanish Stones on the Isle of Lewis. And just like in Brave, there's a lot of mystery to what the stones are really meant for. 
Another part of Scotland's history that they're famous for is the Loch Ness Monster. One of the many scenes that were cut was one scene with a Loch Ness Monster. There's deja vu. However, it made too many questions for the movie, like what is this thing and everything like that. So they decided to cut it. However, we still see a sneak peek to the mysterious creature on the map. In the credits, they pay tribute to Steve Jobs for his work and dedication to Pixar. They also name these two characters after Apple, which is Steve Jobs' company. That's right, Lord Macintosh and his son, Young Macintosh, are named after Apple. Also, in case you haven't noticed by now, Lord Macintosh looks like his war paint is straight out of the movie Braveheart. Though this idea isn't confirmed, what Pixar did confirm is the reference to Braveheart at the beginning when they're flying through the clouds. That was a reference to Braveheart and Sound of Music. Very nice. Also, I can't seem to shake the feeling that Lord Macintosh looks a lot like the co-director, Mark Andrews. Let's go back to the witch's cottage for a moment. There are a lot more Easter eggs in there. The Black Widow is a known sign for death, and the door knocker is in the shape of a Black Widow. So you're literally knocking on death's door. Also, the old witch herself even walks like a spider. Above the door, we also get a chance to see our famous A113. Now I know it doesn't exactly look like A113, that's because it's written in Roman numerals. So obviously the A represents A, the C represents 100, X represents 10, and the three ones obviously is for three, making the sign say A113. Partner. When the witch has a potion made answering machine, it blows up at the end, just like in the original Mission Impossible shows, they had an answering machine that blew up at the end. On the table near the door, there's a wooden carving of the Pixar ball. And I also think that the shield is a medieval version of the Pixar ball, with a star in the middle and a line around it. Now I didn't find the famous Pixar look, the lamp, but I found something dating to before the lamp. That's right, Pixar's original logo. Basically, their logo used to be a big block with four little dots sitting below it. The windows just happen to have four little dots. Meanwhile, back at the witch's cottage, earlier the witch makes a potion and this scene resembles the evil queen from Snow White a lot. They obviously are both old witches, they both have a black crow, and they even tease us by making us think she's gonna pull out an apple. Only last minute it turns into something that looks quite delicious, even though it tastes like your mom's you shoes. But they did put an easter egg in the pot for Pixar, the weird little lizard she just threw in. It's not just any lizard though, that's Newt that was gonna be a movie that Pixar almost made, but then they canceled it. But this isn't the first time we saw the Newt, and it probably isn't gonna be the last time we saw Newt. We also saw him in Toy Story 3 on the back of Andy's bedroom door. During the dinner scene, it looks like one of the triplets was playing with his food, making what appears to be Mr. Potato Head. More like a misfire. However, it's not actually a potato. In fact, it's called haggis, and it's a very common dish in Scotland. Basically, it's all sorts of interesting guts shoved inside a stomach and cooked. <laughs> Oh, now, how do you know you don't like it if you won't try it? That's just a wee sheep stomach. When these red-headed triplets of terror are stealing the goods, we see a hidden Mickey laid out in the rope. Also, they have the same hidden Mickey somewhere in Disneyland. When the fake bear is running through the castle, the triplets keep going through all these little hidden tunnels and crawl spaces. This is just like the real castle in Scotland that Pixar went to when they were researching the movie. The subterranean chambers undiscovered. If you actually own the movie Brave, then you want to go watch the extras. At one point, they tease that there's going to be a Brave 2. <laughs> oh. Ooh. That she's going to make this amazing queen one day. I can write a happy ending for Merida and Mom. And I'm sure we'll have one too. <laughs> Sometimes Pixar likes to hide post credit scenes in their movies, and Brave is one of those movies that you want to watch past the credits because you're going to get to see this scene. Delivery! Sign here! Sign here! Ah, come on! Bird brain! Have a good all day! Expect delivery of your purchase within a fortnight. 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 Oh, have a lovely day.
In case you're wondering what a fortnight means, no, in this case it doesn't mean Fortnite the game, it means two days. And you know what that means, yes! Two is the number of the day! Uh, uh, uh. Fun little fact is that the wisp is actually a real thing in real life. <laughs> what? That's right, I said it, it's real. In Scotland, there is a gas that comes out of the ground and it is ignited by static electricity and it's blue. Legend has it that these wisps will find lost travelers and if they like you, they'll lead you to safety. If they don't like you, they'll lead you to danger. That's why sometimes we see the wisp lead Merida to safety and sometimes it led her to certain almost completely dead death. <laughs> she almost died. Subscribe and click the little bell so you don't miss our next adventure and let me know in the comments what movie you want to talk about next But remember most importantly of all gents and gentlets Share a smile. They are contagious. If you like my shirt, you can get it at crazynate.com Merch! Hey, share a smile They're contagious. Can you imagine a day without smiling? Whew, that would be outrageous Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with Crazy Nate Make sure to leave a thumbs up if he left you feeling great. Have fun and we'll see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe.